Hello again. I'm taking off the tires of my BBS rims uh, because, as you can see on the painted surface here, there's tons of scratches everywhere. So I want to get those repainted. And on the rear wheels, there's been some stone chips or something. Here, so I found a place that will cut off a layer, so the finish is perfect, and then they're gonna paint the rim again. A lot of people go with polished rims, but apparently you have to polish those all the time, which sounds incredibly boring, so I will not do that, but send them in and hopefully they will look perfect again. I'm finally making some progress on the wheels. I found out that I need uh, a new tool. 12 point pipes. Um, the inside uses 10 millimeters and the outside uses 8 millimeter. That's how it goes. I split them apart and I sent them both in. So now I'm cleaning off the Loctite and about to put them, the wheels back together. The best way that I found to get the, them clean was to leave them in a glass jar with carb cleaner for maybe three, four or five days. And then the Rear bolts, which had less uh, Loctite on, are pretty much completely clean. But the front ones still need some work, even though I left them for over a week. They had a ton of uh, Loctite on. So then, I bought this tap and die set. So I found out that the easiest way to do it was just to drill this through the bolts. And then you get the Loctite off the end. And then I can use this wheel brush or these to get rid of uh, the Loctite on the bolts. In worst, worst cases I use these. So then I have 40 bolts to clean. This is perfectly clean. Yeah. All right, done with <coughs> all 18 bolts or 18 on the rear rail. They're a little bit longer and 18 on the front wheel. There's a lot of Loctite everywhere. Now comes the fun part. This is the new wheel. I just took it back from the repair shop. That looks pretty amazing. Looks brand new. Oh yeah, and there's the last two bolts. So there was 20 on each. This is perfect. I have taken apart all the different pieces and cleaned them a little bit, the old ones. So now they're ready to be put back together. I took a picture when I took them apart to see how the center was compared to the other ring to hopefully make it even easier to uh, to balance the wheels after putting them together. <sighs> 
so I messed up. Uh, when I took off the bolts, I marked them in bags, but then when I cleaned them, I took them out of the bags and I managed to put the wrong bolts on the wheels. I was completely done until I took out the other two wheels and noticed that the longer screws were on the front wheels and the shorter ones were on the back wheels. So, since this is a performance car, I don't want to take any risk, so now I'm changing back all the bolts. And now, I kind of... Hello again! I have finally gotten back my rims from refurbishing. And I have also put on the new tires, Michelin PS4S. And I have put back or put on new center caps and also my bling I don't know what even these are called in English so now the tires are looking very good and are pretty much ready to be put back on um, I did the outer lip on the one rim which now looks absolutely perfect and I did the center on this rim and the looks if you just see it like this are pretty much perfect but if you look closer you can see that the BBS mark here is basically filled in now and these are almost gone while on the original one they look like this so the problem is that the people who painted it just painted on top of what was here which also means that it doesn't really stick very well so when I put the screws back on the paint has cracked on pretty much every single screw so I have contacted the company and said I wasn't very happy with this so hopefully they're gonna take it back and get off all the paint and repaint it so it looks absolutely perfect. So the problem is that I have now <laughs> taken on and off the center three times on this one and two times on the rear one because the first time I did this I put the wrong screws in and then I asked the internet uh, what kind of torque specs and that they were going to use on the wheels and most people said 17 newton meters uh, so I did that and then two days later I got a message from a guy who works with or works at BBS and he said the correct specs are 26 newton meters so for the sixth time now I'm gonna take off all the bolts on the rear wheel this time and put them back on with Loctite and put the correct torque specs on so I'll give you the best tips on how to do that efficiently and then uh, put them back on the car I almost forgot last the last years I've used these center caps on the wheels the reason not the 3d ones that I have on now the reason was that I actually think these look a bit better on pictures because you can also always see the logo clearly while well, this, the logo can kind of like become almost black at some angles and look super good in some angles and stuff, so... Picture-wise, I actually prefer these. But I ended up buying one set of silver and one set of uh, gold. I guess I could just put them on each side, but uh, I kind of like the 3D ones. So, if you have a set of each and want to trade, or if you want to buy one set so I can complete one other one, so I have two to mix between, uh, let me know in the comments below. I still would like to keep one of these sets, uh, I think, so I could switch if I get sick of the 3D ones. But For now, I'm gonna run with the 3D ones. To get the bolts out easy, I use a drill connected to the same extension and 
get the bolt out, clean it up a little bit, and there's a little bit of Loctite on the bolt. So I just use this rubber mallet. Get it out, clean off the Loctite. And put the bolt in and reapply Loctite. And then I've used the drill, so you torque it to approximately 8, 10 newton meters with the drill. Then I mark it. Then I'm gonna do every other side cross tightening with 8 to 10 millimeters or 8 to, 8 to 10 newton meters first, and then go over and torque it to the correct specification afterwards, which is 26 newton meters. By putting these tape bits on, it's easy to see which one I have done. So then I can just take them off when I've done the final torque specs. All right, all the bolts are pre-torqued. And since they're pre-torqued, I don't really need to have anything on the, or hold the other side. So I can just lay the rim down and then it goes a heck of a lot quicker. Then I have set my torque wrench to 26 newton meters. And then I also torque it, um, uh, cross torque it. I just wanted to show you a little end result of my rim restoration. All the rims looks, well, they look really dirty now, but the end result was very good. So, and I've used them with the new tires and everything now. So I'm very happy about how it turned out. Before going to the Porsche festival this year, I also put on the uh, aero kit lip that's slightly damaged that I got with the car. I just used C4 lips with rubbers on, but uh, and I've been happy about the C4 lip with the rubber on, but looking on the original aero kit lip, it's so much more aggressive that I am totally sold. I think this looks way better. It sticks out more, but so far I have not bottomed out yet and just uh, added aggression to the front of this car makes it look really really cool so rims look awesome tires are i'm very happy about tires haven't done track use uh, with them yet but uh, comfort and uh, the noise and everything has been great love the new 3d uh, logo Looks very cool. All right, see you later. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.